we're so excited. We're on our way to South Africa. The first leg of the vacation has started. We're heading to London Heathrow Airport, but first we're having a bite to eat in the lounge. It's very cold. I apparently have my own bag. Vanity, the whole bit. So exciting. Can't wait. Throw the flight. We'll do a few more videos. See you later. Beautiful flight once again now heading for Johannesburg, South Africa. Entering Pretoria now, you can see from the boards here. Yeah, this is uh, Pretoria. Yeah, the capital city of South Africa. This is the capital of South Africa. In Pretoria, we are entering Pretoria now. You can see from the boards here. Yeah, this is uh, Pretoria. Yeah, the capital city of South Africa. This is the capital of South Africa. transport business yeah. I've known him for a longest time uh, when I used to stay in South Africa so immediately I get to the airport the only person I could think of was Tolly because I knew he had a business in that area at the airport or Tambo airport so we are in his car now he's taking us to the hotel where we're gonna be booking where we made our bookings in Sheridan Hotel so we are on the way this is the road to Sheridan Hotel and we have Tony as our chauffeur today. He's a businessman. So please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like and share and follow my journey. Don't miss a video. Italy is in Pretoria, yes. but mm -hmm. our 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 uh, parliament is in Cape Town. Cape Town yes. You know, but now the president lives here. The office of the president is here in Pretoria, right? Okay. Yeah. 
Oh, I am so happy to be here. I will tell you though, Becky, I am exhausted <laughs> between the traveling, the time difference, but I am on this excitement high. I can't wait to shower, to get a little rest, and then we're going to go to the the Union across Union the building, buildings yeah. right across. Okay, today that is our job. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of really warm. Not even warm, it's hot. Beautiful. Oh, really. Nice. Beautiful weather. <laughs> Can you describe the weather, Melanie? Oh my gosh, it's sun is shining, it's hot but not humid 33 like that. 33 degrees. 33 oh. degrees. And I've got a blazer on, guys. I'm still Canada sensitive. Uh, but no, it's beautiful. It's not sticky at all. It's just warm. I love it. Yeah. Yes, we're still on the way to Sheridan Hotel. As you see on the other side, that guy is doing some barbecue braai on the other side and we have some kind of uh, traffic. We are at a, a traffic light now, heading to our hotel, Sheridan Hotel. Stay with us as we are still heading to our hotel. How was it like to see the statue of Oliver Tambo? We got a picture, but we didn't get a video. So when we go back to the airport, we have to do the video. Yeah. And you know, it was after reading Nelson Mandela's biography and learning about Oliver Tambo, it really put into perspective the power and the impact he had on South Africans. And to see him commemorated like that, it was a beautiful sight. Honestly, Becky, when I landed in South Africa, I had tears in my eyes, just the excitement of how long we've play, planned this and it's a dream come true i'm so happy oh my last question that i would like to ask uh it comes on the side of uh, american president former american president who called uh, <laughs> africa yes. shit hole. Uh, is, is it what you have experienced no. as you you come in this country no 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 did you see those kind of hats and all no. this nonsense absolutely not everybody's so polite and kind and the place is beautiful it's a it's just like anything you can expect in Canada. It's beautiful. And if not, I just say the good weather on top of it, it's perfect. Colin, what would you like to say about... Uh... We are driving along Steve Biko Road. Steve Biko, he was just, uh, one of our politicians who was murdered during apartheid. Mm -hmm. He was murdered in, uh, in 1977. In the in the, from PE Port Elizabeth, mm -hmm. so he was murdered by apartheid police. That was 1977, mm -hmm. and they have to transport him from Port Elizabeth, 12-hour drive to Pretoria on the back of the truck, naked, nothing. He was stripped everything, and it was extremely cold, beating, 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 up until he died the next day. That was Steve Biko. The story of Oliver Tambo. Oliver Tambo was in exile while Nelson Mandela was in prison. Before Mandela were arrested in 1962, he warned Oliver Tambo, Oliver Tambo, please guys, those who can afford to leave this country, please do so. Because we are highly wanted by this government police. But who knows, if they find us, happen to find us, we might be murdered or we can be sent to prison for the rest of our life and hanged because those years we, we will still have a, a death penalty in the country so oliver tambo left the country after mandela left the country oliver tambo sorry mandela was arrested the very same month this is union building okay look okay. at the left okay. look at the left. that is union building that is union building as you see ahead of us there uh, although there are trees and you can see that is Union building. This is your hotel on the right. Okay, now we're heading to the hotel. We are now in Sheridan, we're getting in the Sheridan Hotel where we will be staying. Beautiful. And uh, we will five Yeah. Five star hotel. You yeah. just walk across the road, you go to Union building. Take some beautiful pictures there mm. with a beautiful garden. When, well, well, uh, this is the hotel. Shout out to 
yes that is where we are now we are getting in there you can see the beauty of Sheraton uh, that's a parking exit you can see from the front there as we're gonna get off the car and we'll be showing you more of the hotel so please don't forget to subscribe to my channel like and share and follow my journey don't miss a video